Friday. You guys basically just missed my birthday, but I didn't do anything. We just podcasted. I obviously, during all this quarantine shit, would much rather be in Japan. Beyond blessed that I spent so much time there before all this. Because who knows what shit's going to be like after. I was missing Japan, like always. So Alex made me some Hokkaido rolls. Both flavors. We got Hokkaido cake roll crazy in here. I actually haven't eaten that much because I'm trying not to eat so much sugar. But it is good. Really good. Uh, a new style for me, or I don't do very often, this sort of like black and gray smoky dragon look. Somehow the ink leaked through the tape, so by the time I was done, it's fucked. I mean, I can cut this out, but that clean border is so nice, dog. So nice. Oh, that was an L. Yesterday, not my birthday. Seventh. Frustrating. That's when I messed up the painting. What am I looking for? Something to drink. And not the dab rig over. It luckily landed in the trash, not the floor, so that was good. We also broke our new bike, so somehow, and I'm assuming it's my fault, even though I swear I read the directions and uh, I screwed this on correctly. Something as simple as a pedal. Which, you know, once it happened, I realized my childhood reminded me that this has happened before. Fuck. Yesterday, oh, I went on a trail ride and my motherfucking pedal fell off. And the pedal fell off because it was screwed on backwards. Um, if you screw this in the wrong way, it will strip this. So Alex went to Boulder yesterday for me and had her dad replace my cranks because I fucked up, or I fucked up one crank. The replacement crank didn't match. So now we got mixed match parts, which I'm kind of about, you know, I'll just, uh, you know, trying to make a what the bike. So we're gonna attempt this morning to go on a longer bike ride on the trail. I finally found where the trail connects. Hopefully I'm not calling anybody to come get me. My beard is crazy, dog. We got crazy beard time. <laughs> Get the ball. Oh, good job, Bubba. Good job. Yes, you got it. I've, uh, I've been enjoying riding my bike. I know a lot of, actually probably almost no one knows, but back in the day when I was a youngster, Hey, seven, eight years, I really rode bikes. I used to ride a, a single speed road bike and just over the years, <laughs> Jesus. Oh my, Abner, stop. Hello, stop. We got a new blender. We got a really fancy blender. I like my Cannondale. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I got a Cannondale Quick CX-4, um, which is just like a, they call it a fitness bike online, which someone made fun of me for, but um, it's just like a hybrid like exercise bike. And it's nice, a good ride, other than when the fucking pedal falls off, but I don't love the ride. It's not as smooth um, or as comfortable as a road bike. So I'm definitely in the market for a road bike. I really like Bianchi bikes just from aesthetic. I like Cannondale. I you know there's all kinds of brands like Specialized and Trek and Giant and Raleigh and all these brands and everybody has their own opinion about what's best. I don't know what I'm going to end up getting. I don't even know if I'm going to end up getting anything. I'm going to force myself to ride my bike. If I'm not averaging like 10 to 15 miles a day every time I'm riding it and I'm not riding it a lot, then I'm not going to invest. But right now, my spirit, my heart, in my mind really would like to ride my bike more so i'm just trying to get into it before we get to vegas and it's just you know hotter than dick and i'm riding my bike at 4 a.m and it's still 98 degrees um yeah so that's where my brain is other than that you know it's um fucked up that painting kind of but also that was on watercolor paper it's all with sumi japanese ink so i'm gonna try and do maybe a bigger dragon on sumi today on rice paper and see if that works out better pray for me because it might not work out at all yeah. yo what up takashi 68 how you doing yeah, and I think that one should be centered. I think do the same thing front and back. We're also looking working on the new look, but playing Skater XL. I downloaded Skater XL for PC. Pretty hard game compared to Skate, but if you're into skateboarding, it's uh it's pretty fun. I mean, it's pretty fun to try and learn these tricks. Basically, lean the skateboarder's body certain ways to do tricks. There's no pre-loaded tricks at all. Like you're not gonna just hit the button and it says 360 flip. Like it doesn't know. You just have to know the trick. Which is kind of cool. I feel like. When I played skate, I would get really annoyed with how not true to skateboarding it is. You know, it's nice to be like playing more of a simulator. I've only played for four hours, so I don't, you know, I don't know yet. It's supposed to come out for console soon. So on console, there's going to probably be some changes and, you know, I'm sure they'll tweak it and make it better, but we're never getting skate four. So this is the best, next best thing, I guess. I haven't played session. A lot of people ask me about session or tell me to play it. I haven't played that yet, but um, Gator XL is cool. 20 bucks, dog. A little different for PC. The game itself only has two maps basically so what you have to do also 
because you have to mod this game. So you have to add your own maps and your own skins and boards and all that. Basically, it's just been worked on by other people, and now there's all this extra stuff, which is cool. But damn, if it wasn't confusing as shit to me at the beginning. Now I have it figured out. Yeah, it's definitely not the easiest. All right, before we go skateboarding digitally, we got a smoke dog. Got a little sour mac. But you know me, your boy. With that green crack. Green cracks on. It's been hours. We played skate. We played Skater XL for a couple hours. Now I'm gonna try to figure out one of these paintings. Japanese rice paper. I'll be back soon. I promise. So we gotta cut this. Attach it to that board. It's Sunday. We just finished a pretty intense podcast, but you know, I had to get I had to get my thoughts out into the world. It's just what, it's what I'm here for. They're out there now. I did this painting. It just didn't come out like how I envisioned it. To, I fucked up and then just finished it anyway. But I don't hate the outcome. Like I think it looks cool. It's just not what I was going for. Hey. Sometimes in life, that's fine. I still like this, it's just not uh, what I set out to do. It's okay, it's fine. It's kind of the fun of painting sometimes. But I'm going on a bike ride. I'm gonna see if my ass will stop hurting. So I bought a bunch of seats to try, but this, this seat came in and I'm just probably gonna return it. It's pretty expensive. This seat, uh, I somehow ordered two of, so I have to return that. And then I said I got that blender the other day. Well, I never opened it, and I realized I don't need a $400 blender. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. We're returning that as well, because there's just no point. We don't need it. We need to get rid of stuff, not bring in stuff. And for some reason the other night, I just, I don't know, I must have really wanted a smoothie, because that was fucking stupid. But Amazon has free returns, so. It is Monday. Yesterday was Mother's Day. Tell your mama, so what's up? I basically have some explaining to do. I, uh, <sighs> yesterday, well, how do I even start this? But yesterday I was on the podcast and we've been talking about bicycles. You guys know I bought a bike last week. And I said I wasn't gonna buy another bike. I was gonna make myself earn a, a, a better bike. But after riding 20 miles yesterday, I, I was pretty miserable, you know? Like, it wasn't a fun bike ride. I used to ride a road bike, so I know what a fun bike ride is like. And that sir and ma'am was not that fun. So, long story short, I went down to the bike shop just to get fitted. I just was gonna get fitted for a bike and then try and find something used, possibly look for something like, you know, a little cheap thing, maybe use, someone's trying to get rid of it, whatever. But that uh, that did not go as planned. Yeah, I bought another bike. Another dragon painting. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just painting, you know? At this point, I just paint every day. Things become a series, they become a series collection, whatever you want. You know, it is what it is. The bike that I got the other week, last week, the $600 bike is okay, you know, for just bike riding, but it's not great for long distances. It's just a completely different experience. So I went down to the bike shop yesterday and got fitted, or went down there just to get fitted, you know, I said. This guy's had me test drive a couple of bikes, and I just started having this feeling of, I'm never gonna wanna ride this thing. You know, like this is the old bike. I'm never gonna wanna ride this. I went a good 50, 60 miles on this bike and just didn't enjoy it. You know, just didn't enjoy it like I thought that I would, even though I am enjoying bike riding. It's fucking a struggle to enjoy this one. And I realized the shank or whatever, the crank broke in the first day, replaced those. And they, the company's actually gonna take it back. They said, put the old cranks back on and send it back that it's all good. So, which leads us to when I went down to the store to the bike shop one of the bikes that i test drove is this bike here and this is another cannondale which is a lot more expensive uh like a lot more expensive this bike was like three thousand dollars and it is a gravel bike the gravel bike yes i said three thousand dollars i know i know i even said on the podcast this would be a bad time this is a bad time for me to buy this bike I'm going through all my stuff. I have 
so much shit. I still have so many clothes. I have a few pairs of shoes. I'll make the money back. I'll make the money back before we leave on stuff I can sell. Um, I'm having a painting sale soon, so I'll definitely be able to like pay for this. And this this is cheaper than, you know, dying, you know? Like y'all make fun of me. People say I'm fat. Now you wanna make fun of me for buying a $3,000 bike. So as long as I ride it, it's fine. Me and Ern, tomorrow morning, we're going on a 24 mile bike ride. It's no problem. So we're committed, committed to the bike riding again, especially since now we're financially committed. But yes, I am ridiculous. Still and crazy. Two bikes in a week. One's got to get returned. The other one's so fun to ride, bro. It's the Cannondale something something. It's the Cannondale Topstone 105 Carbon. 2750. Tubeless tires. It's nice, man. It's a nice ride. I think it's so nice. And it's going to be sick in Vegas. I'll be out in Vegas in the 100 degree heat every morning. Every other morning. I'll be out there, so bought that bike we were supposed to go on this bike ride today but um it's mad cold i just go cruise around the neighborhood it's pretty cold today or at least it was earlier it's not that bad now you can't go 24 miles it'll get dark still playing a lot of sk skater xl so cool another blank piece of paper paint another little dragon probably play some skater xl rest up my body for tomorrow tomorrow's ride take a little cruise cook some food still in this quarantine shit can't wait to get out of here can't wait gotta pack <sighs> i need to show y'all my uh my dunk collection. So got a Tiffany's. I have some. I have the Travis Scotts. These are actually disgusting. I'm gonna go ahead and review these for you guys. Uh, the multicolored swoosh. Just I didn't realize it had that. that. That doesn't look very good. You know, I got white laces too. Now I don't even know it's legit because now the toe box is white. Those might be unauthorized. Supreme Louis. You know, just had to pull these out. No, these aren't in the SB collection but I skate them sometimes. I got my Skunk SBs, which are way better than the new one that came out. I don't know what that thing's called, the, the one of 500, which is the only reason you like them SBs. I got the Sin Helps. I know almost none of you buying SBs today know anything about Sin Helps or Top of Trot, but or Consolidated Skateboards or anything, anything like that, but it is funny, ironic shoe. It's one of the funniest, I think. But anyway, you know, got my purple lobs where I'm lobbing these cake flips. I was gifted these off-white by Virgil. He brought these out to me. He liked me to see me skating in them. You already know. The ray guns that don't look like shit. Yes, yeah, so we got the old ones in the stash. We'll keep these in the collection. Uh, a little Jordan 1, LA to Chicago's. I just like to skate these sometimes. Uh, I don't know what the fuck those are. Uh, my Kanye Babestas. I picked these up just because every collector has to have the vape stuff. If you don't, you're not like really a sneakerhead. You have to have the vape stuff to show that you're down. My Jedi's, one of my favorite pairs. Had to pull these out. I like to skate these. Little general release here, little Freddy Krueger. like to rock these a lot, especially when wearing flip tricks. Tear these up nice. A couple of pairs of SXLs, real OGs, no. Got the strange loves on ice, furry shoes, fuck the world. And of course, I know y'all waiting for the drop. The chunky donkeys, son. First look, probably not 800th look because every secret YouTuber is doing them, but I got them shoes, dog. Got a pair of slides, <laughs> two, three stripe slides, you know. Keep it cozy. That's my new shoe collection. Oh, don't forget about my Sambas. That's not a Samba, what the fuck is that? My threes, got my Jordan threes, J3s. It's time to shred. <laughs> So I had a real great moment today. I go to Safeway at 7 a.m. and I'm like, let me get some lemons and ginger, just some produce. And it says, uh, old people only Tuesday and Thursday, seven till nine. I'm reading it and I go like this. And the greeter goes, come here, come in. And I go, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. And I look, there's no one there, I go in. Of course, like every old person that passes me is just fucking like looking at me. I get to the counter, I cash out. The lady like literally won't talk to me. I'm like, oh, I can bag these. There's a lot of stuff. I can bag this if you want. And she's just like, just like push it. Like, literally ignoring That's me. That's where I'm we like, are in society, dog. I'm like, everybody thinks I'm a fucking piece of shit. And this lady invited me and meanwhile, there's only four other people at the entire yeah. store. All right, we're about to hit this ride. Yeah. All yeah, right, so. Got my, map my. Oh yeah, I didn't turn mine on yet. Shit, I already lost. We're the furthest we've, this is, this is the point of, of no return. We're yeah. six miles into the 13 mile one way. Yup, furthest we've been this way from home and we're gonna, Another six miles will be a red rock. So. The fucking dick might fall off before the ass and the balls are <laughs> yeah. getting crushed. I didn't switch my seat out. You did. I probably, no, I didn't. It's I probably, good. I feel like you've switched so many seats, you're not going to be able to get used to it. I know. There's no Dude, use. look into this one. I don't know. I can't know. get used to ass pain like you. Look at this. Royal gel. It looks nice. It's like it's been broken got, in. It's got the ball yeah, fucking I have bent. one of those. I don't know. Respiro. Respirator your for your breathe. balls. It's your ball <laughs> respirator. Let me just double check my map.
beautiful out here. One thing Teddy forgot was a t-shirt. We may not make it to Red Rocks today. We don't have to go all the way. We'll just, Stop. yeah. You're tripping. Damn. All right, we're not going any further. I've made an executive decision. I was willing to do it for the, for the vlog. Fuck that. We've already gone, what, 12 miles? Yeah. Which is what you said this trip was. The yeah. trip's actually 17 each way, yeah. Yeah. not 12, 13. It's GPS is against you. We're turning around and we're going home. That's it. Fuck. <laughs>